Hi everyone! Welcome to Tea Talk with Ayumi, brewing financial conversations one sip at a time. For today's video, I will be sharing with you guys the top 5 side hustle ideas. So number one is freelancing. Freelancing is one of the most flexible way to earn extra while still being committed to your full-time job. So, madaming mga freelance na jobs online. And one of those is, you know, mga video editing, photography, or graphic design, writer. Super dami guys. Pwede kayong mag-log in or kung gumawa ng account sa Upwork or sa onlinejobs.ph or any online platforms na kung saan kayo makakakuha ng client. But number one tip is make sure to choose your niche para alam nyo kung ano yung services na i-offer nyo sa inyong target client or target customers. And make sure na yung niche na napipili ninyo is yun talaga yung skill na alam nyo gawin and since specialized new and another tip as well is to manage your time of course kasi if you know magsa side hustle kayo make sure na you still have your time to rest and you know commit with your full time job second is small business so while working sa in your corporate job or any job that you do full time Pwede kayong mag-build ng small business and since you have your co-workers or colleagues, meron kayong mga customers, di ba? Mas madali sa inyo makakuha ng customers. So for small business, pwede kayong mag-start with rebranding. You can start with, I believe, 1,000 to 5,000 pesos. So make sure to set a budget para sa small business ninyo. And number one is to make sure na yung products na ibebenta ninyo is something that you like and something that you're interested para alam nyo kung paano siya i-market. And malay natin that small business magiging malaki siya in the future and it could pay as much or it could you could earn as more than what you're earning sa inyong full-time job. It's a stepping stone if gusto nyo talaga like maging big business owner for now you can start with small business kasi mas magandang mag business na meron pa rin ikang secure na income from your full-time job you can also bake mga cookies or muffins sa bahay tas ibenta nyo online or you can sell jewelries or any products na gusto nyong ibenta and I highly suggest na gumawa kayo ng social media about, like, you know, social media account about your brand, about your products, para mas malaki yung target market nyo. That's for small business. Pwede din kayong mag-buy and sell. If wala pa kayong, um, if hindi pa kayo nakakaipon ng budget para sa capital ninyo, pwede kayong mag-resell. So, hanap kayo ng uh, bebenta, tapos benta nyo din yung products nila. Tapos kung may order tubuan nyo lang ng siguro yung pinaka-reasonable din na tubo, depende sa product. Pwede din kayong mag-buy and sell. That means, kailangan din siya ng capital but not that big. Bili na kayo ng products online, kung ano yung products na gusto nyong ibenta. Tapos, Tubuan nyo lang ng konti, then benta nyo sa mga kakilala nyo. And what? If meron kayong kotse or motor na nakatambay lang, during your free time, you can do deliveries. So ngayon, nauuso na ang Food Panda, Grab, Shopee, uh, Lazada, or any, you know, mga JNT Express. Uso na ngayon yung mga deliveries kasi nga marami nang nag-order online. Especially after pandemic, mas prefer na ng mga taong umorder online. So, pwede kayong mag-sideline na mag-deliver ng mga products. Research nyo lang sa Food Panda or sa Grab or sa JNT na kung paano kayo makaka-deliver. Uh, you don't need to do that full time. Sa free time nilang talaga. So, di ba? You can earn extra while, you know, while you still have your full time job and at the same time, 
mapapakinabangan nyo ang inyong sasakyan or motor or whatever means of transportation you have. Top 4 is content creation. So as you guys can see, mar meron ng mga vloggers ngayon, uh, mga sikat na vloggers that they do that full time but since you're just starting and you're just looking for a side hustle, pwede kayong magsimula ng mag gumawa ng contents online. Could be vlogs, um, TikTok videos, Facebook reels, or blog. Like, you know. Ang tip ko lang sa inyo, like every other side hustle, make sure na alam nyo kung ano yung content na gusto nyong ipakita sa audience nyo, sa inyong target audience. Could be specifically for travel, uh, beauty vlogs, or cooking content, or lifestyle ba. So, you can research and kung ano yung mapagpilian nyo na gusto nyong gawin at gusto nyong i-share sa mga tao, you can do that. So, sa content creation, you can earn, of course, sa views, sa subscribers, sa, sa ads, Sa TikTok, you can do TikTok affiliate. Kung mahilig kayong umorder, then, you know, my ROI, my return of investment. Kung mahilig kayong umorder sa TikTok shop, pwede kayong gumawa ng video about it and lagay nyo sa yellow basket. If may order dun sa yellow basket nyo, you can earn commissions. Um, if you guys are interested, if gusto nyo, like to know more about TikTok affiliates, please comment in the comment section down below. So I can make a video about it, like going in depth on how to do TikTok affiliate. Because I'm also, that's, that's also one of my side hustle. And one last thing that you can do to earn, maliban sa the one that I've mentioned earlier, um, you can actually play games while earning extra. So, I highly suggest na bisitahin nyo ang www.gameape.cc They have hundreds of games to enjoy and you guys can earn at the same time. So again, that's www.gameape.cc Make sure to visit their site and tingnan nyo yung mga games na meron sila available for you guys to enjoy and earn extra. I hope meron kayong matutunan for today's video. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe Game 8 Philippines. Bye!